reporting to you live here from the Filipino market at Scarborough Town Center on Canada Day with my Ube Popsicle. It's live from last week, episode 184. Let's go! So good! my fellow G walkers to another episode of laugh from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so starting off this week with a little bit of bad news after coming off another stressful night shift this morning i walked outside of the hospital on my way to my ride and saw that my motorcycle that was parked within the lines when I left it yesterday evening had been moved slightly outside the lines when I got to it this morning. And guys, unfortunately, that only meant one thing. When I got closer to my bike, I saw this. That unfortunately, my bike was hit, had toppled over, and had sustained new damages by somebody who wasn't accountable for it, and had left the scene. Which actually, guys, had me venting a little bit, where you can obviously hear the disappointment in my voice. Yo, man, after work, I come back to my motorcycle, and somebody downed it. Like, look at this damage. And of course, there's nobody to be accountable for this. After a rough night shift too. And now, seeing that I'm left with my left side mirror broken off, on my days when I'm not working, I will just have to pay out of pocket to get my baby fit. But moving on, after arriving back home to the condo to get an actual decent post-night shift nap in between my night shifts, I was doing something that I did almost on the daily last week, catching more Euro 2024 soccer action before I go to work. But before I go in for my second night shift in as many nights, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my classmates from my high school days who I used to play soccer with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tammy. Happy birthday, Tammy. I also got a birthday greeting to one of my nephews that's back in the Philippines. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jam Jam. Happy birthday, Jam Jam. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, since it's been over two years since I got last mass fit tested and that my current certificate has expired, post night shift, I stayed back for another 10 minutes for a quick little class to be recertified for the proper masks for respirators at my work. Go ahead. Well, well. That's a step to show that's what your mask is protecting you against. And next up, after getting a lackluster post night shift nap at the condo, I checked out more Euro 2024 tournament action while I was half asleep, where there were shockers and upsets in group play with the country of Georgia downing Portugal by the score of 2 to nothing this afternoon. Then, recalling this scene from last week's episode, the mini is gonna look all brand new the next time I see it, with the wife making an appointment for the car to get cleaned and detailed. Today was my first time seeing and riding the most recently detailed mini, driving the wife to her night shift tonight in a new, clean, and sparkling car. And although, as previously mentioned, I was lacking much sleep, I still made my way downtown to meet up with a couple of work colleagues to go to a summer barbecue that my workplace holds every year, where we got to feast on these delicious barbecue burgers 
and also run into some of my friends that I haven't seen in a long while, such as my beach volleyball buddy here, Kevin. I was also able to look high up into the sky to see this entertainer on their stilts. Share a meal with some of my co-workers outside of work here. And even spend some time being a little bit childish with the photo booth that they had set up at this event. Three, two, one. Alright, what's up? After trying to catch up on sleep but not being real good at it, I woke up and turned this Thursday into a chores day. So going to the kitchen and making some breakfast for the wife after she got home from her night shift, I pretty much did chore after chore after chore until for dinner the wife had craved some fried chicken. So I'm out right now playing Uber delivery driver with my new detailed mini this evening for me to deliver the wife some Popeyes for our nighttime meal tonight. The Popeyes. Mmm. <laughs> So guys, firstly today, to start it off, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And guys, on that note, going to the cemetery earlier, we did my monthly visit to my Lola. V, to wish her a happy birthday. Hey Lala, happy birthday. Continue to pray for us, guide us in our everyday lives, and uh, we'll see you soon again, okay? Happy birthday once again, Lala. I also had continued with one of my New Year's resolutions earlier, playing beach volleyball each and every month of the year so far. But this time, in the month of June, with people that you guys know I played indoor volleyball with in the past, with today having a beach day with the wife's co-workers. And after the fun times that I had with these guys at the beach earlier, the wife and I headed back to the Scarborough area to this place that I was last at a while ago, checking out the one and only Scarborough Town Center as well as seeing this shirt at a local Uniqlo, which represented one of our favorite restaurants that we always like to visit. Then checking out the new Toys R Us store at this mall to buy a gift for one of my friend's toddlers who has their birthday later on this weekend. The wife and I then wrapped off our day out by going to the Filipino night market just outside of Scarborough Town, checking out all the numerous variety of Filipino vendors out here, as well as being able to bask in the market atmosphere, watching all these grillers work their magic to make us salivate, and having us try the many upon many delicious eats that were being sold. 
But guys, my top favorites here would probably be the Taho and this Ube Popsicle. <laughs> Of which I definitely had wished that they sold these not just by the box, but by the Balak Bayan box. So after waking up after a decent sleep this morning, I got an invite from one of my buddies whose son's swimming lessons were at my condo. So leaving my unit earlier this morning, I was able to say a quick hello to my buddy Dayao here in the lobby before going back to a condo in the beaches area to see a friend that I haven't seen in quite a while attending the birthday party of my now new nephew, Mateo. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Look at that! And I can't wait to see you rock the birthday present that we got you for your birthday. Feliz cumpleaños once again, Mateo! Anyways, after attending this large feast of a celebration for our lunch today, we headed over to my parents' place to see the one and only Tita Mone, as well as some of my cousins that I haven't seen in a long, long time. And also all these titas and titos just chilling here having a feast and photo shoot with them all throughout this afternoon to get together and celebrate my Lulavi's birthday next up after driving a long distance to drive the wife downtown for her night shift tonight i made my way here to the king and simcoe area to the nearby elephant and castle Meeting up with one of my fellow co-workers and fellow Team Canada soccer fan, Ramez. Oh, Ramez. To catch, not in this attire, but this attire to watch with him, Canada's Copa America group stage match versus Chile. So last night watching the Team Canada match, with my buddy Ramez, where the atmosphere here was pretty decent. I can honestly say I was a bit disappointed with our boys' performance, where we played with a man up advantage with a Chilean red card earlier in the game. And after having scoring chance, after scoring chance, after scoring chance, oh! finally coming up with a goal in the second half. <laughs> Only to have it disallowed by an offside call. We barely squeaked out with a nil to nil draw. And advanced out of our group play and onto the elimination rounds. I was even given the opportunity to have an interview outside of the bar with my honest reactions to the game by the fellow YouTube channel, Fan First Network, of which I will make a cameo in one of their videos sometime in the future. But yeah, guys, I think I set a record for myself last night, just like LeBron promising in his Miami Heat days, ordering and drinking not one, not two, not three, not four, and certainly not five, but count them six iced teas last night. And now I'm pretty sure I 
have diabetes. Anyways, next, going afterwards with Ramez and his crew to the local Charlotte's room, where there are arcade games and several pool tables that we waited for for a little bit, before deciding to venture around the entertainment district and eventually parting ways so I can walk myself around downtown looking at several bars and eventually finding one bar that was showing the UFC 303 event at a place where I've been to a couple of times in the past the legendary Loose Moose on Front Street and after waiting around to watch the main event of the evening with this slow-mo replay. Unfortunately for me, after the fight, I had missed my last GO train home, having to take one of the final late night TTC trains from Union Station, and walked home from the end of the line with minimal buses running early in the morning. Anyways, on to today where I got less than four hours of sleep, because I think I had too much sugar still in my body from all of those iced teas that I consumed. I went to the local St. Maria Goretti Church for Sunday morning Catholic Mass before going to one of my cousin's favorite places that we've been to before. The famous Spicy Dragon in Scarborough to pick up some food and celebrate his birthday before I go in for one single night shift tonight visiting 102 to celebrate the one, the only, Turdoy's birthday. Look what Jonas baked. Look what Jonas it's in the, it's in the oven. Yeah. Have you seen them in this is crazy. This is sick. It was really good. Take it out. Take it out. Yeah, be careful. It's, it's it might be hot or cold. No, he Jonas baked this. Totally made this from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm putting it back. Keep it yeah, warm. Yeah, put it back. Keep it warm. Keep it warm. Keep it warm. Did you see that? So first of all, with my mini and its proud waving flag, I just wanted to wish all Canadians and Canadians in heart out there a happy Canada Day, as well as welcome everybody to a new month. Happy July, guys! And with it being halfway through the year of 2024 already, this is how, just like I did exactly six months ago, celebrated this occasion at work. Five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Happy Half New Year! <laughs> And on the topic of celebrations, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember playing baseball with back in our youth. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paulette. Happy birthday, Matt. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends who I remember back during our St. Stephen's days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. 
Up next, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who I remember working with at the hospital back on the south side. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kira. Happy birthday, Kira. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my PT co-workers who I see every so often and who I know really appreciates all the birthday greetings that I give to him every single year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nick. Happy birthday, Bradley. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my groomsmen at my wedding, of whom we most recently celebrated his birthday with this weekend. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dudoy. Happy birthday, Duds. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Wow, it looks like they have already started on with the fireworks for Canada Day. But anyways, getting off a steady night shift this morning and running into one of my other groomsmen from my wedding. Do you want to ride to your uh, car? <laughs> <laughs> getting in just over three hours of sleep. I went back to the Scarborough Town Center for the last day of the Filipino market they have there. Getting a hold of one of their free spam giveaways. And meeting up once again with a couple of family friends and cousins as a group. And to help my Ninefe have some hands-free time. By all together helping babysit for her the one, the only, the nephew baby vision and after seeing things not only to buy but also to eat here as well as revealing some baon <laughs> I played my part of being Tito J, swaddling and cop coping with the baby nephew. Then, after going back to the condo to pick up the wife to take her back to this event, we ran into more friends and family that weren't here earlier, bought some more drinks to try out. Oh, good! Then going back to this vendor, we got the special of getting three items for only 10 bucks. Where they actually included my ultimate favorite food at this festival. The now famous Ube Popsicle. Which I literally got everyone else to try. Oh, God, right? as well as feasting on several other Filipino foods at the table. But yeah, after escorting the wife to her night shift downtown tonight, of whom I give props for not letting her work schedule get in the way, literally going to an event before and in between each and every of her three set of night shifts, I took the TTC back here to Scarborough, to relax catching the sunset for the evening, meet up with the neighbors for a little bit, and probably watch some Canada Day fireworks from the comfort of my condo. And so guys, with that, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow to your Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.